No, I wasn't actually going to do that. Okay. Okay. Rabbit Run, right here, by John Updike, published in 1960, is about a 26-year-old man who's trying to find a new life. But he is running from all his problems, which is not good. So, these problems include death, dishonesty, unfaithfulness, and even sex. So, he's making mistake after mistake. His dishonesty is coming from leaving his wife, going to a prostitute, and even getting her pregnant. But, you know, I can't change his mind. But, these, those are some of the reasons why this book could have been banned. For the deep descriptions of sex and the explicit language. But, those aren't even the main reasons. I think the main reasons are, oh, I wasn't supposed to say I think. Okay, we'll cut it out. Okay. Mostly the main reasons are, though, that people out there didn't like the fact that what was in this book was the real world. So, they tried to get it challenged and banned. So, the fact that Rabbit's actions were actually happening in the real world was just startling to people. And they especially didn't want it exposed to their kids. Like, who would want it exposed to their kids? It's disturbing. But I think getting it banned was also just not right because you're making a decision for someone else when they could learn from it. So children can learn from what Rabbit did wrong and now he could have fixed it. So, there is a possibility that it could be banned now, but most likely not. But according to the Modern Library in 1968, 19, 19, according to the Modern Library in 1968, okay, according to the Modern Library in 1998, this book listed 97th out of 100 banned books. So that's pretty low down there, but, you know, it's still there. So I think that it shouldn't have been banned, but there are really good reasons why it was. So Rabbit Run by John Updike was banned in 1998, but I don't think it'll be banned today.